Hey, welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We are back with a new Magic the Gathering Arena standard best of one mythic rank deck guide with a bonus sideboard guide. In today's video, we will be playing Naya Backup. That's a color combination of red, white, and green, focusing around the new mechanic, Backup. We'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and synergies held within the deck, demonstrate this within the Mythic Rank gameplay footage against the best decks and players in the world right now, and of course we'll wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review. The packs have been shipped, they're on their way, any day now we'll be opening packs to close out the video as well. So again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video to help support the channel. You can also become a YouTube member to challenge me directly one-on-one -on -one every single Sunday live on our YouTube stream. Here we are with Naya Backup. This is the name of the game, baby. 60 card standard best of one build here for you today. We will again break down that sideboard guide at the end of today's video. We have a 2.5 average mana value, 27 creatures, 9 non-creatures, and 24 land to support the curve. We are building with the backup mechanic in mind, so you know, let's get right to it. We have Enduring Bond Warden for one, a 0-1 human scout with backup one. When this creature dies, put a counter uh, or put its counters onto another creature that you control. Um, this is great. So the backup one will distribute a plus one plus one counter. And if it's on another creature other than itself, it's also going to get the rest of the keywords, which is really cool. So of course you can target yourself and you can also target other creatures uh, that you happen to have later on in the game, which is nice. The mirror shield hoplite for two mana, one red, one planes as a two power, two toughness, human soldier. Now that soldier creature type is really important here as well. And whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a backup ability, copy that ability. You may choose new targets for the copy, and this ability triggers only once each turn. Um, this is absolutely phenomenal. It's a non-legendary that stacks, and really what we built the whole deck around. For two mana as well, within one generic, one forest, is a zero power, two toughness cat citizen with backup one. This creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Not too shabby. Uh, you know, it's going to hit for 2-2. Two, two. If it targets itself with the backup, it's going to be a 3-3 three, three when it strikes for 2 mana, which is, uh, you know, really not that bad. We have the Voldarian Thrill Seeker for 3 mana, 2 generic, 1 mountain, 1 power, 1 toughness, vampire warrior with backup 2, and the ability to pay 1, sacrifice this creature, dealing damage equal to its power to any target. Um, this is really nice removal, and it's uh, good reach damage as well to finish out the match. And finally, our last backup creature will be the Boonbringer Valkyrie for 5 mana, 3 generic, double planes here. It's a 4 power, 4 toughness angel warrior with backup 1, flying, first strike, and a lifelink. So it applies all of those keywords to another creature for the turn uh, while having them itself, which is absolutely phenomenal. A few other new cards within the build. The Invasion of Gobacon for two mana. A Battle Siege with three protection counters or defense counters on it. And when it enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand. You may exile a non-land card from it. And as long as that card remains exiled, its owners may play it by casting it for an additional two mana. Uh, really nice tax, but where the card shines is the Light Shield Array as an enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that attacks this turn. Furthermore, you can sacrifice the Light Shield Array to give your creatures Hexproof and Indestructible until the end of turn. That is no joke. So, you know, you're getting in there, you're taking their single target, you're taking a creature that you can't face off against, you're taking a Planeswalker, you're taking the Field Wipe, right? Uh, whatever the problem is, Invasion can tax them and offset their tempo, and then the Light Shield Array is going to protect you uh, for the, the kill, really, which is phenomenal. Some cards within the deck that you may be more familiar with. Helena and Elena partners for four mana, two generic, one mountain, one forest is a two power, three toughness, legendary creature, human ranger, with first strike and reach. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control, where X is Helena and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until the end of turn, which is really nice. So we're gonna be using all of these backup abilities to power up Helena and Elena 
so she can put out uh, or they can put out I should say more plus and plus one counters turn by turn which is really cool we also have the siege veteran for three mana two generic one planes two power two toughness human soldier and at the beginning of combat on your turn put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control whenever another non-token soldier dies that you control you'll create a one one colorless soldier artifact creature token uh this is nice because you know we do have a couple soldiers in the deck as well then we have some removal some protection protection within tyvar stand for one mana plus x instant speed giving us plus x plus x until the end of turn as well as hexproof and indestructible if it's not protecting you from single target, you can take the kill. We don't need multiple copies because we have invasion. Removal through strangle. Three copies here. One forest at source up. Uh, pardon me. One mountain at sorcery speed to deal three damage to target creature or planeswalker. Really cheap. Soul partition for two mana. Instant speed. One generic one planes. Exiling target non-land permanent. For as long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. And a spell cast by an opponent this way may uh, be done by the additional cost for two. Uh, so a little taxation there, which we love as well. And then finally, it's Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels, for four mana, one generic, one mountain, one forest, one plains. As a five power, four toughness, legendary creature, Cat Demon. Miss Maya, you hear that? You're not the only one. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have vigilance as long as you control three or more creatures. An additional plus one, plus zero, and trample if you have six or more creatures. And then finally, plus one again, and double strike. So, you know, if you have nine creatures, you're going to get plus three, plus zero, vigilance, trample, and double strike across the board on everything you control, which is great. Uh, and of course, you know, it's a pretty decent body for four as well. We've got the gardens uh, for land consistency, you know, all the duels here, the thickets, the brushlands, the forest, the forest, and the gorge as well as our utility lands, right? We've got Seed of the Empire, Crucible of Defiance, and Who Endures, uh, all doing their duty as double spell, four damage, make into tokens, artifact enchantment removal. I'm sure you're familiar by now. Of course, we do have the sideboard, which we will break down after today's gameplay. Before that, uh, you know, we're gonna have to play some matches though, and uh, break down the deck for our final thoughts. Uh, of course, you know, I welcome all of you to criticize the deck to your content in the comments below um but you know try to be constructive with it you know what would you change and why let us know why uh and then maybe we can follow your train of thought a little bit more effectively right so uh, i appreciate everybody who does go out of their way to help make the deck the best possible version it can be for the community that is phenomenal um and again you know thank you all so much for watching we're gonna get into our gameplay now like comment subscribe if you haven't done so yet and uh, become a youtube member to challenge me directly every single Sunday. Let's play some magic, Dougies. All right, we're gonna go first. We've got a one drop, we've got a two drop. Heck, we've got some protection. Can we find a third land though to continue the curve? Please and thank you. Right, I mean, we can dream. Oh, the raw priest is so good. <sighs> By so good, I mean so freaking good, dude. Nearly unbeatable. We do have the hoplite out. I think we go Thrill Seeker just for good value because we need to get ahead somehow. little sugar over here, a little sugar over here, and a little sugar over there. <laughs> Woo! Don't be greedy. Share it with your opponent. I mean, we've got the, a blocker here. Hopefully it doesn't get wrecked. Probably does. Absolutely. All right, they want to hit for one. Go ahead. Take your toxic. Spurtle dead. Do we just straight up race? No, because they're going to get life gain.
I can kill the rot priest. Could have. Can't anymore. I think I could just push. Let's just try to beat them. Please don't play another century. <laughs> right, I mean, these mites can't block. They've only got the two blockers. They don't want to lose the Rot Priest. They don't want to lose the century. So they're incentivized to not block. But now they're down to seven life. They don't have life gain yet. We only have one. They need to get corrupted at three. Uh-oh. If they can get us to three poison counters before the attack, I'm going to absolutely front door. This puts them to three, also gives them life gain on the defendo. I can bounce the hive when they do make a life gain strike to mitigate that. This is an option, so partition can take the hive. Can also just take a creature. Bro, are you serious? Bro, are you serious? You've gone wild! Taking three, up to three. Down to 16. Ah, it's another land. Uh-oh. Don't you freaking dare, dude. Wow, we needed a fifth land. Do we just have lethal? What would they have to stop us from taking lethal? No life gain for you! This is also not targeted. It's not a spell, it's a creature. It's, I mean, it's targeted, but you know, it's not gonna tar trigger the Rot Priest targeted ability, is what I mean to say. You can hit it with creatures, you can hit it with enchantments, right? Artifacts, I guess, as well. Something that's already in play. What you got over there, Willis? All right, do we get it? I think we do, because that's gotta be mana of any color. Right? We get that. Thank you. Poison up. No damage, sad. Hit for lethal. Oh, I can't count. Wasn't this a five power creature? Oh, the hive kills them. That's what I, I was, that's it. I was like, I thought we had this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I counted it out. Yeah, I mean, that was good. Other than, uh, you know, me. <laughs> Never change, HGG. Opponent is going first. We're going to look for better land in our hand. Via the mulligan. I like to have three lands, one of each color. Is it too greedy? Apparently. I'm gonna mulligan this as well. Hey -o! Who's got the land? Who's got the land? Who's got removal? We probably don't need you. We do need you. Return two. That is brutal. That is brutal. Maybe I don't even need you. Just keep the top end. And hopefully we survive that long. Watch it be a creature deck. Normally, you keep the creature removal in hand, control deck. You know, you throw it, then it's a creature deck.
I mean, we've got a three, we've got a four, we've got a five, looking for fifth land still. When you're on the play, you can go a little bit slower and not be as punished. Oh, that's good. Hopefully there's not removal. I mean, if there isn't, they're going to find it. Fourth land out. At Sushi in the house. No attack. Interesting. Land out. Elena in the his house. No, we need that to make it stronger to block these dragons, right? If we get the fifth land Valkyrie, if not, we do have the Negotiator Warden. Alright, we're gonna hit down to 15 for four. Ooh. Okay, let's double cast. Let's get this out of cut down range if we can. Push up Helena a bunch, and then the veteran is fat. I think we swing for eight. They could have uh, some good spells in hand. I don't want to overextend. Just looking for that fifth land for our Valkyrie. We'll call it a day. What? I'm not going to give them at Sushi. I know they want the draw. I think they want to draw. Good game. I mean, we hit for lethal here. We have more to apply. Who knows what kind of removal they have. Um, nice. Up at the batter's plate yet again. Going first with nice land. Not only that, we have a mediocre curve. Looking for our fourth land. Looking for a two drop. Looking for our fifth land. Swing for one. Pass over. Ah, counter magic. We love the counter spells. Let's pull it out. There it is. So there you are. Uh, Mind Splice Gamer confirmed. White Sun's Twilight. Can we get the W before... They absolutely murder us. I'm playing the land slow. You leave me alone. It's only for one. Union of the Third Path. Phenomenal. So I don't want to dive in too deep. You know, they're going to have that field wipe there. They're going to hold up the counter magic. This turn, I don't mind the counter magic, right? Because, uh, you know, they're spending their mana, and then it's no mind splice for the turn. So here comes Helena and Elena. Really, that's interesting. They're just going to bounce this to my hand, I assume, then? Um, a field wipe, a doom scar, whatever, right? We're gonna get a draw. It's a multicolor creature. Um, did you just say doom scar ACG? Heck yeah, I did. And did I just r rip the who endures off the top to slay that mind splice? Heck yeah, I did. No, it's a depopulate, not a doom scar. It's a bad habit of mine to call it doom scar. Every mono white field wipe, doom scar. 
<laughs> All right, so more draw. Six life. Absolutely brutal, you know? Unbearable. More draw, proliferating that blast zone to two, so it no longer hits the Bond Warden. I'm gonna boon on Helena. Helena on the Valk. And that is a big one, baby. Let's go! They're gonna wipe our whole field, so it doesn't matter that much. But it was fun. It was fun. We got some good damage in. If they don't have it, they can draw for it. And maybe we get lucky, right? You just force as fast as you can. Um. Ooh. They did not have it. We should have lethal next turn, maybe, depending. Um, I'm thinking if it's like a Wandering Emperor, we should be good if the field wipe were still hooped. Um, that was a slow draw, so I don't think they found it. Or they were just laughing so hard it took them a minute to, you know, get back here. Oh, the life gain. That can take it away from us. Oh! That's so much life gain. It's ridiculous. Um, so we can hit for four, 11, and eight, 19 total damage. It's not enough. I'm going to flip this maybe depending on what they have. Okay, we should have went for it. My bad. <laughs> we could easily flip it. I mean, if it's going to protect from a Doomscar, then we should do it. Depopulate, HGG. Depopulate. Thanks for the light shield. That's going to help uh, our cause with Helena and Elena partners as well. And worst case, we can soul partition something, you know. Keep the partners alive. All right, here we go. So it's a very good thing that we've gone ahead to do this. Grabbing indestructible. And that was, you know, we were going to attack them, not the, the light shield. So uh, this is nice. They're, they're gaining a bunch of life here still. Up to 26. That's gnarly. They'd have to draw another. And push up Helena. Helena pushes up the Valkyrie. And it's an Omega Strike. Or 25. Down to 1. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Guess we'll keep this warden in hand. They got a draw. Oh, they got it. And it was a sunwell. Mom. 
My oh my. What a top deck, right? So they're going to try to bring it out to defend and we can soul partition it, open up our attack lane, right? I don't know. I guess they've got counter magic. Shoot, I should have done it last turn. No, HGG! Now they have counter magic. <sighs> what have I done? Should have done it earlier. Never punished. Draw away. Have they played a land? Oh my gosh. Never punished. Never ever punished. Good game. We have a casual 65 life. To land, we have our favorite one drop. But then what? Mulligan, we need three lands. Keep six. I like the one drop, but... I think it's better to hold a higher curve, maybe? Let's try it out. We do find that land. Okay, that's not really a problem. Oh, nice. We get a Bond Warden back. Paying life here is on a less than ideal slope for us, but whatever. Uh, soldiers is not going to be great either. We'll do our best. How many Brutal Cathars do we face is, I guess, my problem. Alright, we can slam for three. The Vigilance is acceptable. Brutal Cathar stream incoming. No blocks to 13. Ouch. Sky Strike. Hey, that's pretty good. Alright, we push up Helena. Helena pushes up the. Mirror shield, mirror shield slams for six. That is no joke, but they can block with one, one tokens in the future. It's not ideal. Helena is massive if she survives. I don't see them having anything with flash to push up it. Strength. An officer. I think they just wanted the token, right? And this is where it gets weird. They have just more creatures than us, which is going to suck, and draw engines, and then more creatures because of that, right? So we need a Valkyrie. We need flying. Push up Helena with the copies. I think we just want the Vigilance attack. Right? And then, like, the really good flying uh, block with the reach. And 
It is less than ideal, but I mean, we're doing it. I just need that freaking Valkyrie, dude. They need to take our, our creature. Are we gonna see a trip block? Just stopping the nine damage down to five. Let's slide that land in tapped. They're gonna draw. I'm looking for my arch nemesis, the brittle Cathar, or that freaking soldiers, freaking soldiers, dude. Good game. I mean, that you were competing with literally one of the best decks uh, quite nicely. So at least that says a lot. Even when we're losing, we're right there with them. It's good. Opponent goes first. We have good land. And, um, you know, there's a one drop. There's a two drop. Dare I say a three drop as well. Looking for a four drop. Oh, soldiers. I cannot stand this. <laughs> I hate soldiers. They're so good. Oh, no. It's just uh, as for heroes. Oh, four color heroes. Well, Rafine is simply unacceptable. So, no. You will not. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Brutal. I mean, just, oh, not even slamming Glissa. Um, I guess they still can. Wow, okay. Literally flooding the field. I like it. Legendary humans, so sick. We're gonna kill the Might, I guess. It's demanded. And then we can kill other things. But we have to kill the might first. They're just paying life. They're like, can't lose my mana. Well, my red lands tapped, but that's fine. And it's gonna swing for four, which is probably fine. Do we foresee a double block there? Probably. So let's just take it. Only one counter, but it's the protection that I guess we like. Oops. Thalia. I can't do it because Thalia. <laughs> uh, what have I done? Thalia taxes the battles as they flip. Did you know this? I did not. Cast for free is not for free when it's taxed for one. I understand. Oops, my bad. Now you know. Mm, I should have put it over 
Well, it already, already has it, I guess. We're going wide. Um, that's fine. Smash home. If these creatures die, they transfer their token, so it's okay to attack. Yeah, definitely. Death touch first strike your way to the, the top. And then a double block. Which is fine. I think we get both uh, of these cards, which is cool. We can even save it. I'm going to save it. Very cool indeed. So, I mean, I, I made a little mistake. They made a little mistake. Welcome to Magic, ladies and gentlemen. You know? Good luck to you all. <laughs> this is a hard game, dude. Uh, that was sick, though. That was really nice. Oh, here's Refindle. So good, you know? It's just like, groundbreaking. Oh my gosh. And Glissa just defends forever, right? Rona, I will smash. We're gonna kill Rafine this way, I guess. We can't attack into the death touch anymore. It's not worth it. Unless we wanna dump all our counters onto the Thrill Seeker, but I don't think we want yet. Not yet. If only they didn't have a massive draw engine. Maybe we should have killed Harold. Maybe we sh still should, because I don't want that to transform, you know? No, let's still kill Rafine. We can blast Glissa, but there's we have bigger problems right now. That's what sucks about this deck, is like, there's so many things that are an issue. First we have to deal with Rafine, then we have to deal with Rona, and then we can deal with Glissa. It's absolutely barbaric. Alright, let's kill Rafine. Pay the ward with our forest. Problem one, solved. We still have uh, many more problems to solve here. <laughs> what is this, a final exam? So long. Stop drawing cards. Stop it. Jesus. Oh my, it's back. They immediately replay it. Oof. Oof skis. Helena and Elena has reached for us, but she's nowhere to be found.
Oh my god. Dude, what's mine say? This is not enough, bro. I guess we're just dead. <laughs> I guess we're just dead, dude. Kill Gitrog. Double token. They're investigating though, which is also brutal. There's like there's so many layers to this that are bad. You know? Just the whole thing. Just the whole thing. It's very, very bad. We're getting to showcase the deck, though. You know, at least. Um, just dang, though, you know? The Legend deck is ridiculous. At least they haven't played a Shieldred on us yet. I mean... That's one bright side. Probably the only silver lining that we have, and... I'm sure it is eviscerated here momentarily. Flyers in. Uh, deep breaths. What makes me nervous is that they're throwing away really good cards. Right? I've, I've seen that Adeline in there. I've seen your other Thalia. Right? So. I guess we just probably die next turn. Brutal, dude. Ah, exactly the card I needed. Three and a tap. One, two, three and a tap. Nice. They can just like straight up protect it. And I flood out with a land, which is fine. But uh, great match. Rafine is such a broken card, it's not even funny. Oakley, Dolkley. So Naya backup seems very powerful right now in this state but maybe a little bit weaker than we'd like it to be. A little flimsy, maybe a little bit more protection. Uh, dare I say the Scrabble Might enters the arena. Uh, it is phenomenal to protect your things. Um, easy to snag that in there. We could run four Gobacons, I guess, and maybe an additional Tyvar stand. Um, the power level on the deck seems really, really high. Maybe even Jetmir. Uh, could get cut because we're not necessarily going nine creatures wide um, at the end of the day uh, I do like the trample at six and the vigilance at three um, So food for thought right uh, other than that. I love the backup deck. Uh, I was Let down when I seen how few backup cards there were but uh, it, it works uh, really well, I think right so um into the sideboard guide, if you are looking to take this into traditional standard, best of three, uh, I implore you to do so. We have a little bit better removal. I mean, I know Strangle can hit creatures, it can hit Planeswalkers, but what if they have more than three toughness or loyalty? Let's grab some Fateful Absences, and then we've got the hard removal. Uh, this is nice against uh, things that are in our way. If we're lacking draw, the Doomscar Warrior is a nice addition here. It's got backup, which is really cool as well. Uh, the trample is decent, and uh, you know it's going to allow us to draw a card off the top of our library, right? Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at that many cards from the top. You may reveal a creature or land into the hand, rest in bottom and random. Uh, you know we've got the additional protection and uh, I guess damage here. 
removing enchantments or creatures. Uh, I'm removing artifacts and creatures, which is really cool. So I love evil and abrade together. They're quite nice. Uh, some additional faithful absence that we already talked about. And then the Wandering Emperor, you know, it's good if they've got uh, Planeswalkers of their own and they're running farewell, uh, you know, this can dodge it. Uh, you know, apply plus one counters, which is good. Make the tokens, uh, you know, control the field with the minus on the exile. So that's all really nice and dandy for our best of three sideboard guide. Uh, you know, let me th know if you make any improvements to that as you go on along or have opinions, I guess, and share, of course, what and why so we can all understand. Because, <laughs> you know, maybe it's not a great idea. But if you tell us why it is, then we can, you know, get behind you, right? So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day. Pack openings coming again soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Become a YouTube member. Much appreciated. We'll see you soon in the next.